Hey guys, Edu here. In this video, I think I'm gonna design something with Hardops and Box Cutter. There is a new version that dropped quite recently, and I thought I'm gonna take it for a spin. It's the uh, 21, Mercury 21. So let's uh, go to, well, before we start, let's grab the screencast keys so you can see what I'm actually doing. And I think we're gonna design some kind of a. Uh, um, like a, a narrow sci-fi engine or generator or something. So let's grab a cube and let's go to cavity and let's drop the cavity on. Uh, SX skeleton X axis and we're going to make it a little bit longer. So actually it's a bit too narrow so maybe make it like this. Mm, this will do. Control A and apply scale. Um, now I'm going to bevel this so select all the edges with Control Alt so it's gonna select the whole loop around and Control B and I'm thinking that I'm gonna bevel this like this okay something like that this will do and in both on both sides here I'm going to add a chamfer. So I'm gonna scroll, scroll my wheel down, add a chamfer, and then control click on bevel to add a secondary bevel on this one. So it's gonna run across these uh, these edges. Let's actually apply some weighted normals with Alt click on sharpen, mark sharp, yeah? All right, now we can you know slice this thing to oblivion. So what I'm thinking is that we're going to create some kind of a plating on top of this. So let's select all these edges, I mean all this loop around with Alt and go to a Curve Extract and create a shelling on top of this one. So you're going to do it with Shift, Shift click on Curve Extract, go to Side View. And by the way, as usual, I'm using machine tools for uh, for my... I'm using, um, I mean, a blend, vanilla blender for switching directions, um, you know, front, back, top, etc. But I'm using the machine pie menu for switching between object solid mode and edit mode, right? So let's go to D and gone with box cutter and let's slice this somehow, shall we? Let's go to view mode, select this one and create a cut here. And before we do that, let's actually uh, enable angle lock for the angle. So let's do it again. So it's gonna lock the uh, the angle here, and let's actually uh, run a bevel on this one. So press B and do we want a bevel here? Yeah, why not? Let's let's slice it like this. But I'm going to actually recall this cutter. So click on this shell and mod scroll toggle and click on a boolean and shift bool, and I want to create. Uh, an outside, so something like this, okay. Oh wait, that's a difference, right? Um, let me see this. This one is a difference, intersect, clear. That's an outset, that's an inset. Hmm, maybe inset is interesting. Let's grab this one and click on solidify and make it a little bit smaller. Something like this. This should do and let's let's apply this so select the shell and control click on sharpen so this should do nice we got now a double you know kind of like a layering in here so it's pretty cool now what we're going to do is we're going to run the chamfer on this one so i'm going to select this edge with alt okay get close and we're going to create like a tiny chamfer in here which is going to break light it's going to look really cool we could do actually the same thing in here so select this edge just make make sure you select the right one let's go to lock on mode and just select it with control all the way around these tiny details usually are very very um they look very interesting at the end so nice okay let's go to side view and let's see now in the middle here i want to create a cutout with a circle so i'm going to go to um, object in fact you know what let's do it in view it doesn't have to be in the middle although it would be nice if it was in the middle but it doesn't have to be and let's uh hold shift and scroll 
number of words you can see it at the top so we can scroll it to maybe 80 to make it really smooth and now we have the choice we could make it bigger like this or actually a little bit smaller like that i think we're gonna go with a bit of a smaller one let's just you know slice it through and we're going to um mirror it so uh, alt x x to re reset the mirror and and do something like this now what i'm going to do is actually shift the ball here so i'm going to grab this one and i think i don't want to cut i want to intersect so shift ball to intersect shift two to hide the cutters and uh, you know control sharpen to apply them go to local models forward slash and we're going to actually um ex expand it outside like this and go to side view and make sure your individual origins and we're going to scale it a little bit in so you can see that this comes through this shelling and we're gonna go with a chamfer here the same here go to local and simply select this circle all around now before we do anything here what we need to do is actually run an edge through this mesh like this so it's actually perpendicular or what we could do is run a loop in here like this okay so it's gonna be top and bottom i think it's gonna be a better idea right and we simply connect these two and connect these two okay and now we can remove these two edges so x and dissolve edges and then select this one hold con uh, shift and alt and select this one and control b and we're gonna uh, chaffer this one just a little bit yeah like that okay perfect now that looks good okay so we can work this one out uh, a bit so in you know extrude it inwards and inset it and then we're gonna go with shift click on curve extract control shift a uh, control click on sharpen and, and let's actually chamfer this again a little bit so we're gonna have something like this which is pretty cool now this bevel is mirrored good actually that's what we wanted let's go to side view and before we do anything let's save it and let's set our power save to use auto save and auto save to copy there's a free add-on you should get it it's fantastic it's gonna save you a lot of headache so i'm just gonna click power save which will save my consecutive file and now i'm gonna have a um, backup being saved to additional file separate file every two minutes now let's do something with this one shall we so we're gonna do something different here i think and let's uh, grab and on and do something like this and x i'm gonna slice this and i think what we will what we might do actually is sharpen these two so we got this piece separate and let's grab this whole thing including you know we don't actually need this edge now i think let me see this do we need it oh yes we do need it because it supports here okay fine so let's grab you know all this mesh here in fact wait a minute no we don't we don't need this edge now because this uh this is not a cutout in the middle anymore so we can actually dissolve it but without this bit because this bit supports the curvature of this main cutout so let me just bring my mic a bit closer because i think it's too far okay so um let's not delete this one right but let's delete the entire bit around because we don't need it so now we can actually select it all round like this if you want to it's mirrored anyway so it doesn't matter so now what we can do is um alt s and this will actually scale it on normals meaning we can make it a little bit thicker this is what i want maybe this is a bit too thick alt s and make it a bit thicker like this okay so it's thicker at the bottom and that's what we want now we're going to uh, grab this let's let's fix this here a little bit because it's gonna cause havoc with our bevels we need to remove this edge uh, and remove this edge and we're going to remove these verts so click with shift and one with machine tools and then we're going to bevel i mean chamfer this like that let's see how it looks it's a little bit too deep so let's make it a little bit less less crazy let's do something like this so it kind of you know meets this uh top 
top edge here, which is going to look kind of nice. And uh, we can create some other cutouts in here. So we can do something like this. And one more cut at the top, I think. So we could create something like this here. Slush. And we can do the same thing in the top. So I'm going to grab it and create another element on top here. So select this whole top and Alt S and make it a little bit thicker, just a bit thicker. Does it work? Yeah, this might actually not work the way we want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually curve extract and create a shelling on top like that. Okay. So it's going to be on top of it. And let's let's apply this and go to side view. And let's see. Let's slice it like that. Perfect. No, that's not what I want. That's what I want. There we go. Nice. Okay. That's pretty cool. So that starts to look like an interesting thing. Let's click on this face and um, Control Q. Control Q doesn't work. Control Q by by default is quite blender, which is you know outrageous idea. So. Uh, control, uh, control, and oh, also on the key maps, you can remove it if you want to under control uh, Q. Oh, uh, wait a minute, uh, quit blender. I need a coffee. Yeah, quit blender doesn't exist, which means I removed it. Uh, and once you remove it, you can actually assign it to another uh, shortcut. So, what I suggest you do is go to, um, st3 mesh tools and go to align view right click assign shortcut and control q so now when i control q this and click i can align myself to this face which is exactly what i want because i want to create a cut with my end gun aligned to view not that let's cancel this uh, my end gun needs some settings here so go to input and right mouse button to cancel end gun so now when I, you know, create an angle and I don't want it, I can right click mouse button and it will remove everything, which is exactly what I want. So let's slash this and see how we're looking. Yeah, we're looking pretty peachy. So let's save this and we're good. So now let me see. I'm going to drop an um, bevel on this one. So let's, let's bring this to local and let's see if we can actually dissolve this. Yes, we can. So we can actually chamfer this one like this. It's going to be interesting. And this is actually too strong of a chamfer. Let's make it a little bit less crazy. This will do. And then we're going to chamfer this one. So we're probably going to have to remove these two. Or we could do something like this. Which is also cool. Right? Nice. Let's, let's talk about the front. Okay, so the front... We don't have anything in here yet, but uh, we can. Mm, let me think. So what we could do here is shift D this and on selection and let's go to local and insert it a bit. Something like this. Control I and faces. There was an interesting function before in Hardops called to bull. I'm not sure where it went to. Maybe I'm simply not seeing it. It was moved somewhere. So if you guys know where it was moved, let me know. Because uh, recently we've been so busy with Josh, you know, um, setting everything up, you know, the Patreon and and the website and releasing the course and the decal pack. It was just so much to do that I, I'm, you know, I need to catch up with Hardops. So let's cut this like this. This is pretty cool. And what we're going to do now, I supply this with sharpen and uh, control L and P. This is going to be its own selection, which is exactly what I want. Perfect. So now I can play with this a little bit. So we could, you know what, we could actually um, outset it. I mean, move it outside a bit and chamfer this. And then we could create some uh, cuts in the middle. So. Uh, go to front view orthographic and grab it circle in fact we're gonna switch it to object view and go to snapping tool here select all these options let's make this smaller a bit this amount here with control and see how we're looking 
and we need to be in perspective mode for this to work so select this piece and uh why my snapping tool isn't working that's fascinating now i'm using the 2.9 uh, 0.01 version of blender and i, I must say the bl this blender was an absolute bastard to work with i hate 2.9 it's so buggy it's just a piece of hot garbage so uh, my snap tool doesn't work for some reason I'm in object mode, I'm in perspective, and I see no, I see no, uh, no grid. Let me turn off this angle snap for a sec and see if this is actually causing the issue, but we're not in the angle mode, so this should actually work. Fascinating. Let's save this, okay. And let's open 2.83.5, which was a very stable version of Blender never had any problems with it so let's go there for a sec it's actually a good idea to run more than one blender version because if something doesn't work you just jump to another one like for example uh, the volumetrics in 2.9 are buggered you need to set it up properly to make them work it's just annoying you know i don't want to deal with this with this so let me just load it in quickly okay we're in 2.83.5 and Let's try to do this again, shall we? So, let's go to object view, perfect, and there we go, that's my grid. Something is buggered in this 2.9.01. I don't know what they did with this 2.9, but it's just a piece of shit in my opinion. They should fix this. There's so many things are broken over there, I don't even... It's not even funny. So, um, 40 verts should do, I think. Um, so, let's extrude it okay let's apply this or not one more time so let's create a circle and a radius with v y and let's in you know extrude it and click and just got smaller that's okay let's click it and we good to go it's a little bit too deep but that's fine we can fix this so uh, mod scroll toggle let's move it outside just a little bit so gy come on let's turn off the snapping gy move it outside a bit there we go and this should do and the bottom we're gonna do something else so we're gonna switch to a square a box and we're going to select this one and do we have covered here i don't think so because we switch blender so alt v copy it there we go and select this and let's cut it in the middle here this grid grid in hard ops is an amazing an amazing tool because it allows you for uh precision work uh, which is very really fantastic so let's solidify this and we have a perfect cut in the middle which is all right so let's go to the back now and uh, let's see here we could do something more interesting so what we're gonna do here is we're going to create a loop uh, in here okay like this make it a little bit larger we're going to rip it off and I press p to its own selection and i actually want to remove this one so let's remove this one okay and we're left with this one right so now we're going to select everything press f and e and extrude it out and sharpen this and click on this one and no difference but cut so booleans and slash and that's what i want so now i'm going to drive it inside a bit and i think what i'm gonna do is solidify it so let's see if we can solidify this uh, by expanding this like this perfect now let's hide this and we got this cut inside here which is kind of cool so we can sharpen all of them right and we got this kind of cool cut in the middle you see this one okay so let's bring it to local and let's remove this face in the middle because we don't need it we don't need any of these faces we just need this bit in the middle okay and we're going to uh, bring it outside a bit like this and we're going to apply a chamfer on the inner part of it let me see this something like this there you go and we're going to reduce the bevel because it's a little bit too crazy yeah like this is gonna good be good cool 
and then we can do some slices in here like tiny ones so uh, we could actually do it with squares it's fine so we could just create you know like two tiny cuts in here i think this is mirrored so we're gonna do it like this and simply mirror it to the other side and bob your uncle so what's going on here we got some z fighting what's going on here oh yes because this one wait a minute what's going on here Oh, it's mirrored. We need to move the mirror on top. Um, when you have situation like this, it means mirror is actually interfering with the boolean. So you need to move it above the boolean, otherwise it will not work. So let's try this again, shall we? So let's remove this boolean and let's see what's going on here. Um, is it something not close in here? Seems like we got some non-manifold geo going on. Wait a minute, what's going on here? fascinating let's cut it from the top uh, to solve this issue sharpen bingo you you have to have money for geo for bullions to work yeah otherwise you're gonna have like a you, you can see inside of the geometry if you know what i mean like there are no faces filling these bullions right so uh, we can create some uh, you know interesting cuts in here as well uh maybe two on each side something like this and there you go let's see we have some loops here we don't so we can add them just to be on a safe side there you go now it's clean now these uh, need to be a little bit better connected i think the problem is that they just right on on the edge you see see this uh this bullion here is right on this edge and the bevel is causing havoc so we need to bring this up so uh, scroll your mouse till you see these uh, bullions and we're simply gonna go into orthographic mode and move them a little bit either down or up until this thing calms down a bit and now it's everything is fine yeah so we can all uh, and not bevel now we can uh, sharpen this and we should be fine right right okay so let's see what we got here now the back needs to be you know into something interesting in here so what we're gonna do is insert this like that and you know create something like this and let's see how we look in here we're looking pretty good let's insert it again a little bit go to back view orthographic and scale it okay scale it down like this and extrude it inside but the problem is that let me see this let me see this middle part not this one this one yeah we should be able to actually uh, move it inside so gy and move it inside and for some reason it doesn't let's go to x-ray mode and see what the hell is going on here let's remove this face okay there we go now it's now, now you're talking some double g in here and I think this should be fine. So we could actually, you know, scale it. Can we scale it? What's going on here? Another face. Fascinating. There you go. Right. So now we look good. So let's let's uh, apply some chamfer here. Probably it's gonna be difficult with these edges, but we might try. It was a success, kind of. Mm, the same here. We need some chamfer here kind of big one as well so it's gonna be an opening let's see what's going on here these are caused by angles you see so what's happening here right is that the uh, the angle of the bevel because bevel is set to angle is simply not not steep enough to uh, to create this bevel so what we need to do is run a bevel weight on all these edges right where we want to have bevels and simply switch from angle uh, to wait and this will fix all the problems right let's just turn it off because it's confusing so if you want to rerun a bevel weight on all the edges all you need to do is go to these settings here and turn it on the bevel weight and simply go to sharp and then click Control and shift on sharpen which will recalculate um, sharpens meaning it's going to remove all the sharpens and they're going to add them again so that's how it works okay all right so now you see we lost some sharps in here we're gonna have to add them manually and probably at the bottom as well no bottom is fine cool 
and we are good so now here we're gonna add something in the middle uh, some exhaust or whatnot and this is gonna be cool now i'm going to go to the back view and actually slush it in the middle or in fact i'm gonna create two of them or yeah it will do bevel and you know go inside with this cut gy move it outside now this is uh, basically caused by the cutter being inside of this structure and it, even though we have selected to you see to cut it doesn't cut but actually creates an outset but when you move this cutter outside this um, the um, the outline of this whole object you can see the cuts has been created so sometimes you need to operate a bit with your cutters to get the shape that you want uh, or simply switch the the mode in which you operate so select this in sharp and then everything should be peachy right okay so that's like a back of our engine and again we need to simply sharpen these edges uh, so we're good to go now we can save this uh, here and we okay now let's let's look at the side because you know uh, we need to work on this one a bit so what we can do here is um, select this select this and this and then do a checker deselect although i don't think it's going to work the way we want to no it will not so we need to do what we need to do is uh this is going to be tough man yeah that's going to be annoying i want to select every second you know element like this but i don't think i can do this automatically in blender because checker deselect will not allow me to do it even though if i fiddle with settings maybe maybe let's see no let's try offset oh no that's not gonna work all right screw this uh we're not gonna do it. it's too much work but it would actually look pretty cool if we select you know what screw this i'm gonna do it um, because I think it's gonna look cool. Sometimes you need to sacrifice uh, a bit of time to create some. Come on, something that you really want. Um, Jerry, if you're watching this, hard ops tool for uh, checker deselects with a bit more options would be amazing for hard ops because I think this would bring um modeling to a different level you know situations like this you really want something with a bit more control than what vanilla blender offers because it's a bit limited this whole checker deselect experience is a good idea but a rather disappointing performance or execution if you will it's what we called in europe fucking garbage okay <clears throat> so let's uh, macro this thing yeah see now we're not now we're talking about we're going to insert it a bit a little bit here right like that and then here macro this thing there we go that's pretty cool and that's what i wanted yes now that's nice and we're going to actually what we're going to do is we're going to um go to individual origins so we're going to scale this a little bit like that okay so some lattice perfect now let's go here to the middle and let's insert this one and then insert this one gy i mean x and you know bring it in a little bit create something like this pg and uh, let's bring it to lock or see how deep we can go probably not too deep um you know do something like this and uh, we could just come on we could just extrude it inwards and scale it a bit like that and then select this edge and go to orthographic and scale it out so it's actually creates like a groove inside which is pretty cool probably gonna get some decal in the middle so we could have some cuts in here as well so what we're gonna do is grab a uh, you know an edge like this and rip it off p to its own selection and i could actually cut it with a circle to be honest i don't have to go through all this malarkey so in fact we're gonna just use a um 
let's go to object view yes let's go go back and grab the the snapping tool and go to circle and we can actually draw a circle in here like this let's in, increase the number of verts to i don't know 70 or something and uh, let's cut through did we i don't think we did let's remove this boolean something something fishy has happened here let's apply the mirror first because i think mirror goes from the other side i think now it goes from this side so this should work mm. we just crushed so now let me show you the power of power save which is pretty cool um experience here so this is a fantastic advertisement for uh, for the power to uh, power save so we're gonna go with uh, machine tools control s uh, most recent and load auto save and we're back where we just crashed you see it's f uh, basically stress-free modeling i just don't care if my blender crashes i just literally don't care because i don't have to all right so uh, one more time object view let's just turn on these buggers and let's make this angle a bit smaller and let's do this again shall we not square circle and let's increase the number of verse to what was it uh, 80 is too much too much whoa, whoa 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 70 is fine i think there we go and then press e and let's just do this and press x to slice it and press um, shift click to bring it to um to life this cutter and now i'm thinking we might actually go with the solidification you know like this and apply both of them i mean all three of them no both of them right and grab this piece and move it inside a bit you know like that so we're looking yeah we're looking pretty cool we can make it glowing or something you know what i mean so it kind of breaks this i think and also we need to copy this to the other side uh which one is it not this one this one and copy this to the other side so it's uh that didn't work well let me see this wait a minute what there you go let's uh let's apply this mirror okay uh because we're gonna mirror through the other uh, through another element so this one there we go now it's inside good Okay, so we're done here, we're done here, we're done everywhere basically, but we're not done at the front and also we need some stand for it because you know it just cannot float in there and not can it. It's a it's a generator, so it needs to, you know, sort of be stable. So we're gonna grab this main structure and we're going to grab this one again and we're going to um, go to shift click on curve extract and make it really thick, okay? and grab this one and we're basically going to slash it from the top so just grab a box and you know cut it right so we don't need this one and then what we're gonna do is let me see just sharpen this for a sec um right we need to grab this to locker for a second and what we need to do is we need to make this into a square basically here so watch this we're going to grab all these verts, right, and select this one and Alt A with machine tools and right. And then we're going to mirror this to the other side, right, and with shift to that side. And now we're going to remove the, let's apply this, so let's apply the mirror. And we're going to remove this middle bit, okay, boom. So we sort it, and now we're going to connect these faces and these faces okay and then we're going to symmetrize it so d symmetry to the other side so we got you know it's symmetrical again we can remove all these and we can remove the middle one and you got a, yourself a stand now of course we don't need it to be so deep so what we will do is we will grab an angle and we're gonna slash it in view mode don't forget to switch views uh, and also we need to turn this um, angle lock 
went back on and these options which were reset after my crash so let's uh, let me think now let's do something like this let's cut this one here and let's maybe cut something here and let's you know symmetrize it and sharpen this and see how we're looking we're looking pretty good we're looking pretty good so of course this is too big which means we're gonna have to slush it or cut it through which would also work so let's grab this bit or in fact what we could do is grab this bit we could grab this bit here so uh, let me see grab this one here right shift d and p okay where is it that's the one and let's extend these two up okay so e and z and then let's fill them with a face okay and make them a little bit bigger so let's bring shift s and uh, origin to geo and make it just a tiny bit bigger and we're going to uh, extrude it along the whole length here sharpen this and difference on this one and this should create a cut in here uh, in this bull so the z fighting is gonna stop we are missing some sharps in here you can see that we need to sharpen this up to make it show properly and also we need to symmetrize it to the other side now we get yourself a stand and this stand of course needs to be improved a little bit so you know we're gonna do something like this because it's a little bit boring and something like this and of course we're going to do something like this and then we're gonna do some cutting here oh in fact we could do some uh, like a structure strengthening or something so give me a second i'll think of something so let's symmetrize it to the other side and we got a stand looks pretty peachy so now what we could do is um what's this this stand is a little bit too big so sx and scale it just a little bit on x so it kind of hugs this structure a bit better in addition to all this we of course need to add a chamfer in here so let's uh let's remove this bit in the middle we don't need it let's grab a chamfer here uh run it like that and control b now you see that we have some problem in here and this is probably some double vert double edges so simply run through with the machine and this should clean it uh, with emphasis on shoot and it did perfect so now we can run this chamfer here so control b and run a chamfer you gotta be careful with edges like this you see they're gonna cause problems so you know you might want to for example dissolve them this is one of the ways of dealing with issues like this and now we're going to simply hold shift and uh, mirror this on every single axis and then we get ourselves a nice chamfered piece at the front now the side what we could do is we could actually use an angon to cut it so we could do something like this okay and cut in here and here so here down here here and here and then we're going to cut through and we're going to recall this because it's too deep and cut it somewhere you know what let me turn off this weighted normals because were they applied fascinating let's apply weighted normals then there we go kind of strange so we got this ship going on um, what we want to do is actually um, shift G and direction because we want uh, bevels on all these edges here I like that that's the first thing that we want and second that we want we want some cuts on it so we're gonna turn off cyclic on the under um, and gone and draw a line like this and make it wider and slice and we're gonna slice one in the middle come on oh, oh, come on so like this one and slice it okay and then we're going to simply mirror this so d not symmetry d modifier and mirror to the other side and we're going to um 
operations multiply on the cutter and then simply uh, let's see the depth of the dough okay, sorry do you want to see the depth? it's a bit too deep so gx and move it actually a bit outside and i think we should be fine and then we can apply this okay so let's apply this right sharpen now let's grab this one to lock on and see what we got now this is not ideal here this yeah this is not this is not ideal actually let's change this a bit okay so let's grab this cutter and i might you know normally i would probably use a uh, decal machine i mean uh, sorry machine tools uh mesh machine but i'm gonna do something else i'm going to select all these and these and alt a and bottom and uh, i'm going to mirror this to the other side and across and we're going to apply the mirror okay and remove these two edges in the middle which will solve the problem so now i don't need this thing on the top i can just simply face it up and we should be gucci so mirror this across and now we're fine what's going on in here with these two verts can be merged here all these merged here and again symmetry across uh, let's go to symmetry and across there we go now when we apply this right we should be fine so all we need to do now is run bevels on these corners that uh, you know what we could actually do this before we apply this cutter so let's grab this cutter it's gonna be easier and let's remove all these rubbish edges and let's grab uh, let me see this one uh, this one this one and we're gonna mirror it across so these four and control b and simply bevel them and we're going to mirror them across and uh, we need two more here so grab all these and bevel them right and then just simply sharpen how we're looking we're looking peachy select all these and individual origins and scale them in and simply copy them across right perfect so now we got this kind of like a reinforced, you know, reinforced base for this uh, for this thing. Okay. In in addition to what we could do is we could cut some, you know, come openings in here. So go back to turn on this cyclic, and we could do something like this, for example, you know, which would be pretty cool. Uh, let's grab this cutter for a sec, and let's straighten the top. So select the top face, SZ0, and now it's straight, go back and simply sharpen this and, you know, across, right? And that looks pretty cool, that looks pretty cool. And what we could do now is uh, run the um, chef on it. It's going to look a bit better, so I think. Uh, let's uh, three this and go to front view and there we go let's go to vert mode and actually run a vert i mean an edge like this okay i don't want this to run to the corner because this will not allow me to chamfer the way i want it to chamfer so select this and this all around here and then chamfer Perfect, and hmm, how are we looking here? Looks a little bit weird. Hang on a second, what's this? Hide this cutter. Not camera, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's run edges in here, sharp edges on these. Maybe it's gonna help a bit, right? To make this, yeah, there we go. That's what was weird. So now we can symmetrize it on every single. Uh, axis all right cutters perfect so that's our uh, sort of uh, a base so we can save it now let's deal with the front shall we so let's apply this and let's grab these two. Oh, by the way we might want to fix this rubbish here so let's run and an edge through these verts here to the top it's probably a bad idea 
<sighs> okay, fine, let's do it properly. So uh, let's connect these and press E to continue cutting. So E, connect this and E and connect this, press C to make it a straight line. And now I can remove all these here. Dissolve edges. Oh yes, we need to actually uh, draw a line here. So C to make it straight and you can dissolve this one. And now we can actually select these to deselect this one. Wait a minute. Deselect this one. Press W to select the circle cutter and with control you can select these. And we're going to chamfer these, all right? Because we want them to be chamfered, perfect. We also want this one to be chamfered like that, okay? In fact, you know what, before we do that, let's actually um, drop a cursor here and, oh, in fact, no, let's drop a cursor. Well, this worked though. Let's drop a cursor here and switch pivot to cursor and grab this face and Rx and do something like this. Yeah, it worked nice. And now we can chamfer this, okay? That's what I want. Kind of like a panel that sort of, you know, sticks out and allows the maintenance to kind of, you know, look into it, okay? All right, so let's see what we got here. Now, you know, you could just keep designing this, right? I mean, you could create some kind of a cool shelling on top of this one. So we could create something like this and not necessarily going across but you could you could just go to, for example here and from here to here and simply um curve extract this and create like a toy shelling go to the top view and grab an angon we are in angon go to view mode we are in view mode and simply you know uh do something like this and we need to cut this one as well there we go and sharpen it Right, you know all these small bits they create just additional interest, which is pretty cool. Um, same as here, we could just slice it, you know, straight, or you know, do something like this. Or this is actually fine. Um, I think this one is kind of cool. I'm not gonna kind of li like it like that. Okay. And on top of that, we could create another uh, interesting bit in here. So we could simply we could simply grab this one, right, and slice it with uh, with a knife here, like this. Press K, slice it with a knife. Come on, there we go. And select this bit here, so the front bit, right, and move it outside. So E and sort of extrude it out and come on go to side view and uh you know cut it like this with a cutter this time um so like that perfect and we could grab this uh, box and from a cut like this go to top view and create two more cuts on top here uh, mirror this to the other side and sharpen how are we looking awful not this one this one this looks like um let me see this what's going on here this looks like some issue with um oh there we go it's flip normals okay so what we need to do is select um select this whole area this entire area here and let me see this uh, okay let's try to flip it outside um, alt and flip outside yeah that should do all right alt um alt v and face orientation there we go that was a problem so sometimes you need to check orientation and the usually usually is the culprit of a lot of issues so um, tiny cuts in here just for fun weighted normals and Bob Janko okay cool
cool. So now we need to add some. Um, oh, this actually went through. I'm not sure if I wanted it, but it happened, so we need to deal with it. We could repair this, you see. So what we could do is, this wouldn't be easy to do, but uh, we could repair this and bring it back to where it was. Um, but to be honest, uh, I can't be bothered repairing this. I'm just going to leave it like this and, you know, roll with the punches. So uh, let's do that and combine these two. And what the hell is going on here? There we go. Let's just run three on this one. Clean up. That didn't work. Let's see what's happening here. Double vert, of course. What else? And we can symmetrize it. Whoa. Fascinating. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let's apply the mirror. And symmetrize it back. Our cuts are gone. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Because what I in fact wanted to do is wanted to cut this one, so... Uh, there you go. I think the boolean wasn't applied yet, so cool. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, perfect. Now let's grab these two and scale them and sort of, you know, extrude them. And do this and we good to go. We're probably going to create some kind of, you know... Um, decals in here in the middle so gy can collapse them a little bit some like this will do and i think we're good could add some interest in it on the top as well but uh you know maybe some pipes or cables or something this would could actually look cool uh let's see if we can actually do that one we could have some cables going on to the to the ground with a uh, cable later so Let's bring it, uh, let's bring a floor and GZ and go to side view. And you really need to, you know, make sure it's aligned properly. You could do it with aligning to cursor, but I can't be bothered. Solidify downwards, we got a bit of a thickness on the floor. And what we could do now is, you know, create some kind of a connection to, I don't know, some kind of a device here. So you could just add a cube, make it smaller, bring it to the top and and bring it somewhere here make it smaller and bring it here and let's see it's still too big bring it here there we go and uh, need to drop it on the ground so somewhere here right and scale it uh, add some bevel here just for fun um just add some bevels in the back okay so add some bevel to it as a whole and then it's some chamfer on top maybe um, and it's a little bit too small so let's make it a bit wider so uh, switch pivot to individual origins and Maybe make it a bit wider and bring it somewhere here. That's good. Weighted normals to make it, you know, a little bit less crazy and fix this crazy bevel going on here. This could be far more interesting here. In fact, I don't like this chamfer. I'm going to unchamfer this with with mesh uh, mach uh, mesh machine, and in fact, I'm going to unchamfer this one too. And what I'm going to do is this one, right? And I'm going to cut it from the front, okay? So, go to the front, come on, orthographic, and grab an hang on, and just slice it. Or maybe like this. This could be interesting. No, it's not, it's boring. So maybe let's do something like this. Yeah, this would work. Sharpen. And we could drill some, you know, I don't know, connectors here or not. So kind of like big ones, you know. Here with solidification. Maybe not that large. Okay, and then V to uh, clone this to the other side. I cannot be bothered to make it symmetrical. So I want... 
bevel is a bit too crazy sharp in this and it's just a bevel issue probably or something come on actually it's not a bevel issue so i think it's a double vert issue so sharpen this probably what happens is the yeah uh, there you go the overshooting too close to one another so just merge them and it's gonna be okay i'm just gonna mirror this you know easier and we're going to flatten this so select this one this one y with mesh machine and flatten that's why you use flatten in mesh machine for it's a fantastic tool uh, because it brings it up you know zeroing on the, on the axis is just going to uh, bring this whole structure down and i don't want that create something like this that's cool and maybe you know kind of like out outlets for it so three to clean it up and bring it in and you know something like this uh, let's chamfer this peachy and then what we can do is go with the cable narrator here so uh, let's go to mesh tools and cable ops and in fact i can just go shift i think it was shift alt c yeah create a cable between this one and this one and then q this one and this one okay and then control control 2 and control 2 and let's just move this one a little bit a little bit here so g and move it in here there we go and then edit this one and g and move it in here whoa this one g and move it in here and go to the top here and see how we're looking well we're not looking too good so we need to align it and gz and move it down go to back view and you know just make sure we're in the middle same with this one grab this and go to the back and uh, do something like this pretty cool well guys i think this would be it for part one we can continue in part two this is already long enough in part two we're gonna start adding some details we're gonna start adding some details to the pipes to those cables we're gonna design some cool floor, floor maybe even some walls i don't know how far we're gonna take this but let me know in comments how you feel about it if you would like me to you know create some kind of like a simple maybe even a room for it or some you know like a very simple environment with some ceiling or something some light um then we're gonna texture it with kit ops and definitely ev materials and do some cool renders we're gonna have some fun with it in next episode so that's it for this one thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it links to hard ops and box cutter in your video description two most essential add-ons on this planet at the moment unless we're gonna get invaded by aliens and they'll bring some cooler technology we also launched a Patreon, so if you would like to support us on Patreon, um, there are links in the video description. Um, I would like to thank to everyone on Patreon at the moment who's supporting us. The feedback was amazing. Thank you so much, guys. It's really appre appreciated from both you know, me and Josh. We really appreciate that, so uh, thank you so much. And uh, that's it for the video. Catch you in the next one.